Good evening. Thanks for joining us. While we haven't had a very active fire season in our area, a group in Pocatello is creating a plan to help animals in case one breaks out. I met with the Portnuff River Backcountry Horsemen today and learned why they're willing to put themselves in the face of disaster. Barry Kellen has been around horses all his life, so when the 2012 Charlotte Fire ravaged the area and threatened his friend's horses, he wanted to prevent that in the future. We have 50 members. We've probably got 25, 30 horse trailers that we can have within a couple hours if we had a situation that warranted it. A plan was hatched. In disaster situations, sheriffs in southeast Idaho can call on the Portnuff River backcountry horsemen to assist getting horses to safety. The way the plan would work is members of the Portnuff River backcountry horsemen group would go to a scene of disaster with one of their horse trailers and load up the horses that need to be saved. The rescued animals would then be taken to a safe location like the Bannock County Fairgrounds, where they would be cared for. So how many stalls are here right now? I don't know the exact count. I'm going to guess about 300. This plan relies solely on the group's willingness to help. You'll find that horse people generally are very giving, uh, polite people. There's some ornery ones too, but they're willing to help. And that's what we're doing. We've got a lot of um, people that own their own businesses. We've got a lot of retired people. Um, so we've got people that aren't tethered to a nine to five job. But while the plan is still in development, the hope is to never use it. We never wanted to have anybody have a problem. But if there, if there is a problem, then we have one more resource. The plan will only apply to large animals like horses, not smaller pets like cats or dogs. The Portnuff River Backcountry Horsemen will present their plan at the Backcountry Horsemen of Idaho's state director's meeting. It will be hosted in Pocatello for the first time on Saturday. For more information about the group, you can go to our website, kidk.com.